you? How are you traveling? Happy Friday. It is Friday the 3rd of April. Tanja here, peak performance specialist for real estate and property professionals that really want to help themselves, their people and their business grow. And we can still grow in these crazy times. Apologies for being a few minutes late. Uh, I had to shut down Facebook and oh, shut down my computer and restart again. Good morning, Fiona. Good morning, Amy. Luke, g'day. Sean, good morning. Hey, Sally. Thank you for waiting, guys. Uh, yeah, just the camera wouldn't access on Facebook. So one word to describe how you are this morning. How are you traveling in these uh, times of self-isolation? How are you feeling right now? I am feeling great great uh, because I've been making like uh, Mother Teresa and losing myself in service of others and that's definitely a tip for those that are in real estate particularly it's time to lose yourself in service of others and today I'm going to share ways that you can actually do that even though we're locked down. Good morning Greg how are you doing my friend what's the update in uh, your business uh, with all your team Kate Ashton I left you a message this morning I'm not sure if you got it wanted to check in on your Palmer Pots and Pearl night. Uh, Kate Ashton uh, hosted a Palmer Pots and Pearls night last night inviting local businesses to deliver Palmers or people were going to go and pick them up. Uh, I couldn't join in. Um, Kate, sorry my love, I hosted a girlfriend's 50th digital birthday party uh, which was a lot of fun so that was great. So one word to describe how you're feeling. If you're new to Rapid Fire Friday, this is where I come on and just share the top coaching themes for the week and the tips that I've been sharing with my clients to help them rise resilient in times of these great changes and challenges. I think the word on the street yesterday is we may be facing lockdown for about six months. So uh, how are you feeling about that? <clears throat> Good morning, Sean. Hey, how are you, my friend? So this, this week's messages has all been about energy and managing our energy because there will be two kinds of people. One, those that choose to use the coronavirus as a great reason why they don't have results and give themselves permission to procrastinate. It's fa a fantastic thing to blame. And then there are those that are going to use this time for a leveling up. And that's where my focus has been for teams and, uh, and individuals. How can you use Use the time of lockdown to level up. Level up your state physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually. So some things that I've been doing for myself, zero alcohol. Uh, I'm not drinking any alcohol for this whole time of lockdown. Uh, introduced savers 100% back into my life and I've got a group online doing it, which is using the principles of the book. Um, uh, the Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. Congratulations to all of you who are doing Savers each day. Savers is a practice for silence, affirmation, a visualization, exercise, reading and scribing in your gratitude journal. The great news is every single person that is doing it is already messaging me saying in two or three days they've noticed a massive difference in their focus, vitality, joy, happiness, energy, clarity, decision-making ability. So if you haven't heard me bang on about this, please download the book, get it today and get into Savers and join me online as we do it together. Kate, it was a great dinner, going to do it again as it was good to connect with others and do something different. Good on you. Good morning, Irene. Well done, Kate. Uh, did many people join? Hi, Joanne. How are you, my love? Guy, good morning. Great to have you here. Good morning um, and thanks for tuning in. So, uh, and g'day Christine. So use this time to level up physically. No excuses for no exercise, right? So like I know many of you like to go to the gym and you can't go to the gym now. So there's many things that you can do. Many gyms are offering online programs. I know F45 are. Uh, good morning, Jackie. I've been doing a program called V Shred. So you know, as I said, two types of people, those who use this time to have great reasons why not having results and have a justification for procrastination or those that will just bunker down and use this time of self-isolation for personal transformation. So physically, what are you doing to move your body and exercise to ensure that you've got dopamine and serotonin running through your system? Good morning, feeling. 
Um, embraced. Oh, tell me more. Fiona's feeling embraced. Sean is saying, it's just me or I feel so fatigued and tired and fall asleep all the time. Sean, I love it. You don't usually share that stuff. Usually you're flying and on top of the world. So thank you for sharing your energy. Good morning, George. Good morning, Amy, everyone that's tuning in here. I'm walking around the park listening to you, Emily. Thank you, my love. So Sean, uh, this could be G'day, George. This could be because you're using a lot of mental energy to think about things and maybe overthink things. Uh, so if you are feeling tired and exhausted, here's the other thing that I am also seeing. Because people are in lockdown, our bodies are slowing down and our bodies are actually catching up because we are so used to constantly being adrenalized, you know, and just go, go, go. And then you have coffee on top of that. And because of a forced slowdown, our bodies are readjusting and actually going, oh, Okay, so now I can just chill a little, which is also kind of nice. Taylor, g'day. So please make sure you're taking care of your body. So I'm not drinking any alcohol. I'm not anti-alcohol. I love a good splash of red, but I'm just choosing to level up during lockdown. Mentally, what could you be doing? Make sure you're reading. In NLP, as I've said before, G-I-G-O. Garbage in, garbage out. Good in, good out. Please minimize the amount of consumption of sensationalized media because remember, papers, need to sell advertising space and television networks and channels need to sell airtime. So they want your eyeballs and they want your attention. Just get your morning and evening update and then absolutely switch off for the rest of the day because your subconscious mind will be taking in all of these subliminal messages and fear will be definitely elicited. So if you're over consuming too much content, that's going to have an impact. Um, Hola, I've been exercising every day, which is incredible. Also, longer sleeps at night, which is awesome. Fantastic. Go you. Thank you. I think that's nil. <clears throat> Calm star. Uh, need to be mindful and ensure we keep filling our own cups. We can't continue to pour into others. Yes, well done. Good morning, Emily. Thanks for tuning in. This is a time where, where you can really replenish and re-energize yourself. Not as many as I would have liked had nine... 50, Kate Ashton had 15 people on her Palmer's Pots and Pearls night, a digital dinner party for her local community where she got pubs involved and you could just swing by, pick up a Palmer, get a pot and uh, whack on some pearls. Kate, 15 people is bloody good. You had 15 people join a digital dinner party. What were the conversations, my love? And by the way, this is a tip because one of the things that I have been sharing in, in this week for leaders and teams, especially in real estate, my friends, but now is the not time not to list and sell as that the main focus, but there still are people listing and selling. Now is the time to call and connect. Lose yourself in service of others by getting on the phone and asking people how they are. How are you? How are you feeling? Good morning, Paula. How are you feeling? How are you finding this time? Because I promise you this, there are thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people in the local community right now, in their living room, in their lounge room, in their bedrooms at night, talking about what they need to do to survive. And one of those things is going to be considering putting their house on the market because they need some cash because they've lost their jobs. And they may not have a relationship with a real estate agent. G'day, James. G'day, the Holistic Homes. Great to have you here. They may not have jobs. Good morning, Adam. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, James. So please don't underestimate the power of just getting on the phone. Some of the statistics I'm hearing is three out of 10 are wanting an appraisal. They may not be hot buyers, right, uh, sellers right now, but they are at home trying to create strategies to survive and they may need to sell their biggest asset to free up their you know, their cash flow because one of them or both of them have lost their jobs. So if you are a leader and you're wondering what your people could be doing, if they're in sales, it's business as usual, just done differently. Done differently because we need to elevate the state of relating versus uh, transacting. We need to just call and connect. Maybe they're in self-isolation on their own and they haven't had a phone call from someone for a long time and you could be that person. And remember, according to the core logic RP data research from 
the moment an, a vendor signs an authority to when they sell their property, their confidence in their agent of choice drops by 47%. That means there's a lot of people out there that currently don't have a relationship with an agent. This is the perfect time to build a relationship, to build connection, ask what, you know, how they're, you know, keeping themselves happy and vital and healthy and if they have any questions around real estate for now or the future and if they want to stay connected to you so you can help inform them of current changes and legislation okay so call and connect now is also my friends uh, it's all about creating relationships 100 percent Kate, what we are doing differently, exercise changes, what the kids are doing, how jobs are challenge, changing, some positives to come out of situations. So Kate's sharing, she hosted a Palmer Pots and Pearls night. She had 15 people of the local community jump in and they were just talking about how you're handling lockdown. What are you doing with the time and how are you keeping the kids entertained? Good morning, Lauren. Great to have you here. Good morning, Steve. Uh, <clears throat> please let me know when you're doing the next one. Uh, Kate, I'd love to be there, but obviously not on a Wednesday night now. So what have I been doing? No alcohol, practicing savers, silence affirmation, visualization, exercise, reading and scribing. According to this book, we do have an online community. You just need to follow me on Instagram and practice savers and post and take a picture every day. Uh, <clears throat> day one of 30 days because we're doing it for 30 days. My coaching to people is now's the time to call and connect because many are sitting in their lounge rooms wondering what to do and they may need to free up their home to get some cash flow. Uh, now is also, as I started saying before, now is not the time to hide. Now is absolutely the time to be a lighthouse of hope for people. Now's the time just to connect. Now's the time to start to visualize and imagine a future that you want to live into. Now's the time to start imagining what is business going to be like for you and how can you serve your community and how can you serve your community online. Now is the time to become your local little newsroom. Use your social media platforms for up to date announcements from the Prime Minister, from the uh, Real Estate Institute uh, presidents, from you know coronavirus reputable sources, from your local community. If you continue to use your social media platforms as your own little newsroom with little updates and tips, and here's the other tip, do you know how much um, Bunnings, business, business Bunnings is doing right now because people are using this time to level up their homes. So you could be providing free consultations on, you know, take us for, you know, video your home, take us for a walk through your home and we'll give you some, some ideas on what you can do to get the biggest bang from your DIY buck. It's another great thing you can be doing. Taylor, as a property manager, we are doing what's called Magic 10 during this time, which is making sure our owners and tenants are okay. And I tell you what they are, they are also grateful this. So is Magic 10 like 10 calls a day and just, just calling? Is that, is that what it means? Uh, <clears throat> and you know what? When you're on the phone or when you're doing Zoom calls and you're being of service to people, get a Joanne, uh, you don't have time to feel miserable because you, you feel great because you're just connecting with others and being of service to others. Taylor, keeping the relationship going is so important right now. Great. Taylor says, yes, 10 calls a day. So Magic 10, their KPI is just, let's call 10 uh, clients in, in property management, so landlords and tenants and checking in, seeing how you're doing. The other thing I invite you to do is please stay connected with all the local businesses in your area on social media and look at what they're doing. There are still cafes that are delivering coffee. There are still uh, cafes that are delivering food or you can do a drive-by mask, gloves, pickup. So why don't you sort of spend some time having a look at what they're doing and, and resharing and, and tagging and posting and um, you know promoting their activities now is also the time to really start getting creative and sharing recipes sharing uh, thing activities that the kids can be doing and I recommend you start designing your weekly social media strategy what is the narrative in your business from Monday to Sunday Monday could be a one-minute video market update Monday <clears throat> Tuesday could be DIY tips Tuesday because people are doing their homes um, now it's unbelievable there were queues at Bunnings recently Jasmine good morning great to have you here oh there's a lovely Greek name here that I won't attempt to pronounce but hello to you g'day D Doris 
<clears throat> you're hearing me bang on. What are you doing? Start typing in uh, like Taylor did. What are you doing in your business to stay connected? What are you doing to level up during lockdown? <clears throat> What are you doing to stay sane? What are you doing to keep you and your family entertained? What are you doing to stay healthy? I'd love to hear. Jasmine, good morning. <clears throat> Just um, type it in for me, please. Sold by TY. G'day, great to have you here. Helen Williamson. So that's another thing. As I said, now's not the time to, to hide. Now is the time to become a lighthouse, create a social media strategy, one minute market uh, update for Monday, DIY tips Tuesday, uh, what's up Wednesday that you could go live and ask any questions, throw back Thursday. You could try and find um, photos of your local neighborhood and black and white shots from the 1920s, what Main Street used to look like or what happened on this day in 1929. Uh, you know, just some interesting content. By the way, if you are sending out email uh, newsletters, please think about clever headings because I don't know about you, I'm getting bombarded with coronavirus type headings and I'm just not even interested in opening the email because my subconscious mind is being bombarded with the same message. So start to make sure that you're sending real kind of positive, uplifting, purposeful, zig when everybody else is zagging, different information because people may not even open your email if the heading has got anything to do with coronavirus because we're all getting a little over it. Sean is saying, one thing for sure is I'm watching what I eat and how much I eat. Yes. Again, now's not the time to blow out because we easily could. It's very easy to slacken off, to drop your habits, to do a dive and to carb up and to drink lots because it's fun and it's entertaining. Now's the time to get creative. Here we go. Joanne is saying 500 skips a day and walking for 45 minutes. Skips as in, are you skipping on a rope? Like that's impressive, Joanne. 500 skips a day and walking for 45 minutes. Perfect. Erin, I'm trying to take small breaks and not sitting for hours. Fantastic. Definitely make sure you do that. Keeping a very good balanced, healthy diet. Exactly. That's really important. Developing some extra skills, says Amy. Yes, now is the time to definitely do that. Read, listen to podcasts, learn a language. Now's also the time to clear clutter. Do your tax, do your filing, clear the garage, clear the cutlery drawer. There is something amazing to be said for your energy up leveling where you clear the past and you Marie Kondo your cupboards, which is does this spark joy? So even if you just have a little project a day, but please don't take your foot off the pedal when it comes to connecting with your community. Just because we can't do live auctions and we can't do open for inspections and, you know, we can still do business. I have clients that are up doing deals at 11.30 at night. People need questions answered. People are looking, as I said, to sell their home to free up some cash. Helen, good morning to you. Um, Melissa Turner, have made a conscious decision to get healthy. Cut back to one glass of red per week. Thank you. Good on you, Melissa. I know I actually confess I really did fancy a glass of red last night. I hosted my girlfriend's 50th uh, party. Uh, it was called 50 Shades of Red. All of our girlfriends got online. We were all dressed up. Everyone sent her photos and funny memes and stuff all day via a, a text thread. I got all of those vi uh, videos that people filmed film clips they made and I went on her Facebook page, went through 600 photos and produced a video last night. That's why I didn't jump on Kate to Palmer Pots and Pearls and uh, we all got on Zoom and we sang happy birthday. We orchestrated her hubby to deliver the cake that a girlfriend brought in. We had flowers delivered and we premiered the movie and we all had a glass of champagne. I had tea in mine and, you know, toasted to her and celebrated her 50th. Now's the time to get uh, ingenious and innovative and creative. And now is the time to just look at how resourceful we can be because many people complain that they don't have results and they typically use resources as a reason that they don't have the results. Like I can't do open for inspections or I can't go here or I can't shop there. Now's the time to get resourceful and look at what can you do. 
How can you use social media to become your own newsroom and have a different topic every day to give people a reason to come to you every day? How can you use social media in your platforms to promote what businesses in your local community are doing? How can you engage with your community to elicit tips from mums and dads who are keeping kids entertained? I've got a girlfriend who's doing digital face painting. You can literally send her a picture of you and your kids. She'll do some digital face painting and repost it. So much that you can do. Joanne, I'm impressed. 500 skips. Unreal. Melissa Turner, enjoying every sunrise. Amazing. Yes, there's so much to be grateful for. Uh, speaking of gratitude, I can't show you because my phone is here for Insta and laptop's here for Facebook. Uh, please, if you do, if you are finding your energy is dropping and, and you need to elevate your state, there are, if you don't do all of savers, like silence, affirmation, visualization, exercise, reading, and scribing in your gratitude journal, the top three, if you wanted to start with three, meditate, exercise, and be grateful. It is really important at this time of a lot of uncertainty, fear and survival energy that you stay in the lane of gratitude because an having a gratitude, an attitude of gratitude will elevate your altitude and keep your spirits high. And I'm suggesting that there's two currents that we focus on inside of being grateful. Current number one is be grateful for your current reality. Be grateful for the air we have now, the roof you have now, the clothes you have now, the running water the make yourself a cup of tea or coffee the fact we can still get food third world countries don't have these luxuries there's so much to be grateful for grateful for the times that you can connect with your family grateful for technology to still connect on video you know, I'm seeing videos of, you know, babies that are being born and grandmas on the outside of the car just with their hands up, like heartbreaking stuff, but still using those resources. So be grateful for the current reality you have. And then the second current is be grateful for the future that is coming. Because if you use your mind, beliefs, energy to conjure up a future that is brighter than yesterday, to believe in something greater than when currently experiencing and you start broadcasting the feelings of gratitude for the amazing connections you're building, for the influx of business you're going to have when our doors wide open <clears throat> or open wide <clears throat> and you start imagining that, you are entering the quantum field. If you want to learn more about that, do I have it here? Please get this book. Breaking the habit of being you. Now's the time to level up during lockdown. You can absolutely create a whole new identity by learning about quantum physics, the relationship of our power, uh, sorry, our mind, beliefs, language, and actions. A phenomenal read. It's also available on uh, audiobook and, or audible. And don't just read, study. You'll see that I'm highlighting a whole bunch of stuff. So be grateful for the things that you have now and be grateful for the things that are coming to you. Many great leaders, Martin Luther King, Marie Curie, Mahatma Gandhi, they imagined a reality that didn't exist. They put all of their energy and focus in it and they were unwavering in their commitment. They didn't have evidence of that reality happening now. They just believed in it to be possible. So what else are you doing? One thing for sure is I'm watching what I eat. Great. Trying to take small breaks. Excellent. Keeping a very good balanced healthy diet is critical. Eat fuel, not filler, as tempting as those chips are. Being stuck home and pregnant doesn't help my diet. Yes. So Erin, what are you doing, my beautiful pregnant bellied friend? to keep positive and productive and can you, um, you can you still get food and can you get food delivered and can you cook up wholesome meals or have people do it for you? You're exempt, Erin. You can meet as much as you like. You have permission from Sean Erin to go for it. Roxy Boston. What a great name, Roxy Boston. Um, what a memorable 50th. My lucky friend. Yes, it was awesome. We had so much fun. No excuses. Get creative. Michael Ninschke, good morning. So the other thing that we've done in, you know, in my business, is we've got a free support line for anyone in real estate that needs to have a conversation because they're just really struggling mentally. That number is 0413219923. 0413219923. 
I've also invited my clients to do the same, create a hotline or a helpline in your business where people can just call if they need someone to talk to, whether they can call you to have a conversation about some real estate questions. Uh, go Tanja, love your high energy this morning. I'm always high energy, Mr. Mr. Bailey, you know that, but thank you, I appreciate that. Um, what else can I share with you? Yeah, so we've, we've covered a fair bit of territory, right? So now's the time not to hide, now's the time to be a lighthouse, use technology to stay connected, use this time of lockdown to level up practice savers join our online community that are doing it leaders get your entire team to do this I had a about 15 people on a call session yesterday with Tim's real estate in Adelaide and everyone tuned in on zoom from home and I went through savers and every single person made a commitment of what they were doing to level up during lockdown every single person's downloading the book and the five-minute gratitude journal and they've each got an accountability buddy now so now's the time to connect and have an accountability buddy to make sure that you eat well and um, you know look after yourself. G'day Matthew, great to have you here. Melissa Turner, I've added some probiotics to each day, thank you. Yes, great, good to do that too. Does anyone have any questions or can you also share for a few more minutes what you are doing to level up during lockdown? How are you serving your clients? How are you staying focused? Leaders, how are you keeping your teams inspired? What are you doing? I'm super curious to know so we can share with our broader community. It's the weekend coming up. Uh, you know, things are changing very fast. It's good to know that the government are providing childcare support for working parents. I know that there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes to see how we can be as resourceful as a country as possible. So please make sure you are watching the updates. Uh, but as I said, use your social media platforms to communicate those updates to your local community so they can see you as a trusted advisor. My friends, I'm going to wrap it up there. Please join me for Mindset Mastery Monday. I'm going to start sharing even deeper NLP practices so you can train your brain to rise resilient in times of change and challenge and just become a bit of a digital classroom and also we'll have some open mic time. Just ask people how they are then actually listen. Emily, it's rocket science, isn't it? <laughs> but you're right, hun. Now's not the time to get into scarcity and list and sell to get a listing. Now's the time to call and connect. Please don't underestimate the hundreds of thousands of people that are in their lounge rooms right now talking about the need to sell their home to get some cash flow. And but just be a good human. And as I always say, in the words of the late, great Maya Angelou, people, hey, Chris, Chris, we're going to be doing, uh, but actually, that's another thing I forgot to mention. I'm also offering free half an hour of power, uh, leveling up during lockdown, elevate your real estate of mind training for any brand, any business, any leader that wants to get their people together on Zoom, and I'll share some strategies, or we can do q and I'll provide live coaching for free. Okay, for free, no excuses to not be resourceful. So Chris, I can't wait to connect with your team next week. It's gonna be fun. Aisha, lovely to have you here. Tam, thanks for joining. I'm gonna sign off. And as I was gonna say, uh, in the words of the late great Maya Angelou, please remember, people will forget what you said, they'll forget what you did, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. More than ever, we need to use our energy to enable ourselves to feel connected, to feel heard, and to feel seen. You don't have to fix anything or change anyone. Just let them know you're there for them and you get them. That's what we need right now. I believe that real estate is a, is a, a business of relationships and not transactions. More than ever before, we need to elevate the way we relate. Be a lighthouse of hope for your community and uh, go well. Can't wait for Monday too, Chris. It's going to be awesome. Uh, please send me any questions that you have from your people. Otherwise, I've got heaps of stuff up my sleeve. You've got about a team of 16, so we've made it an hour. I'm doing a free hour of training. Guys, hook me up. Let's do it in your business. Michael Ninchke, if you are on, brother, let's just do it, okay? Let's do it for your team. All right, I love you guys. Go well. If you have any questions, anything you don't want to share publicly, please DM me. I'm here for you. Uh, G'day, Guy. How are you traveling, my friend? And uh, have a lovely weekend yourself, Sean. Please remember, eat fuel, not filler. 
join us. I'd love to see as many of you online as possible. Download the book, get your teams involved. Let's use this time of lockdown to level up. See you 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Monday next week for Mindset Mastery Monday. Go be a great human. Look after yourself and I love you. See ya.